न्यू डार्वेनियन थियोरी ऑफ इवोल्यूशन ऑल्सो नोन एज न्यू डार्वेनिज्म दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इवोल्यूशन न्यू डार्वेनिज्म इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मॉडर्न सेंथेटिक थियोरी ऑफ इवोल्यूशन ओके लेट स्टार्ट न्यू डार्वेनिज द मॉडर्न वर्जन ऑफ चार्ल्स डार्वेन्स थियोरी ऑफ इवोल्यूशन बाय नेचुरल सेलेक्शन इनकॉपरेट्स द लोस ऑफ मैंडेलियन जेनेटिक्स एंड एम्फोसाइज द रोल ऑफ नेचुरल सेलेक्शन एज द मेन फोर्स ऑफ इवोल्यूशनरी चेंज द टर्म न्यू डार्वेनिज वॉज फर्स्ट यूज बाय अगस्ट विस्मैन इन एटीन एटी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है ही वॉज अ जर्मन नेचुरलिस्ट who incorporated his theory of germ plasm into darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection wisman advocated the theory that body is divided into germ cells germ cells can transmit heredity information and somatic cells which cannot he thereby added a mechanism of heredity different from lamarck's inheritance of acquired characteristics which prepared the ground for the rediscovery of mendelians by erchvon hugo and calls around 1900 evolution from a new darwinian view point is defined as genetic change in populations through time that is descent with change with modern organisms being descendants of earlier different organisms in addition to natural selection mutation random genetic drift and gene flow are considered important factors of evolutionary change with mutation being the ultimate source of genetic variation historical background of modern synthetic theory of evolution or new darwinian theory of evolution the current theory of the process of evolution that is modern synthesis formulated between about 1920 to 1950 that combines evidence from classical genetics with darwinism it makes use of modern knowledge of genes and chromosomes to explain the source of genetic variation upon which selection works this aspect was unexplained by traditional darwinism the new darwinism is known as a modern synthetic theory of evolution because it is based on the knowledge of genes and chromosomes now let's study what are the factors that affect the origin of new species into two or more new species according to new darwinism following factors operate in the population or species and result in the origin of new species into two or more new species first factor is variations during darwin's time little was known about the nature of genetic variations caused by reshuffling of genes during sexual reproduction the phenomenon of meiosis causes random assortment of genes during synopsis and rearrangement of maternal and paternal chromosomes of both kinds of gametes such a reassortment of genes especially in a large population with large gene pool is one of the basis of appearance of new organisms crossing over of genes during meiosis also adds to the variation and chromosomal abbreviations like inversion and translocation and moreover changes in the chromosome number polyploidy also result in the origin of new species second factor is mutation Hugo de Vries 1901 put forward a theory of evolution called mutation theory the theory states that evolution is a jerky process where new varieties and species are formed by mutation which are discontinuous variations that function as raw material of evolution The term mutation was used by D Varis for large spontaneous invariable variations which occur suddenly in naturally reproducing populations the recent definition of mutation is wider sense processes that mutation is any hereditary change in the genetic makeup of an individual other than that which may be caused by simple recombination of genes this include changes in the gene structure or composition called gene mutation or point mutation 
and the changes in the chromosome either in structure or the number called chromosomal mutation. More frequently, the term mutation is used for gene mutations only. There are two peculiarities of mutation which are following. These are very rare, that is mutation are very rare. Most mutations are harmful. There is no constant rate of mutation of genes. There are genes which may mutate once in every 2000 gametes or may not mutate even within lakhs of cell divisions. There are equal chances of a gene to mutate back to normal. Most of the mutations are harmful or deleterious but not all. The effect of any allele is either wholly beneficial but only relatively so. Most of the mutants are recessive to normal gene and are able to express only in homozygous state. No question arises that if mutations are so rare, can they supply necessary raw materials for evolution? The answer is that there are a great many opportunities for mutation. There are probably thousands of genes in each individual gamete and for each species there may be hundreds of millions of individuals producing gamete in each generation. Again there are many generations of individuals over the span of evolutionary time. Hence though any particular kind of gene mutates rarely, the many genes, many individuals and long time period all add up to provide ample opportunities for variability. Third factor is natural selection and this is very important factor. The concept of natural selection as the guiding force of evolution was first introduced to scientific community on June 1, 1858 by Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace in a joint paper entitled on the tendency of species to form varieties and on the perpetuation of varieties and species by natural selection. Presented to Lenin, Society of London in 1859. But Darwin's original concept of selection was somewhat unsophisticated and negative and was applicable to individuals rather than to population. According to Darwin, natural selection is the selective influence of the environment on the organisms, as a result of which individuals list fitted for survival are eliminated and survival of the fittest is encouraged. Natural selection includes all those kinetic forces introduced by physical and biotic factors, which determine how and in what direction an organism is going to change. Natural selection plays no favor favoritism, but it is obvious that the organisms which are more suited for environmental conditions will survive overpowering the force of competitions. Thus, the natural selection is a creative process which causes the variations and mutations as the raw material from which better survivors having combinations of better survival value are obtained. Nature of natural selection. There are two ways of natural selection that acts. Differential reproduction and encouragement of beneficial genes. We will see first one. Natural selection brings about evolutionary changes by favoring differential reproduction of genes which produces changes in the gene frequency from one generation to next. The differential reproduction is achieved either by the increased rate of reproduction or by the decreased vulnerability to environmental agents responsible for mortality. Second one, encouragement of beneficial genes. Natural selection is further characterized by its invariable encouragement of genes that assure highest level of adaptive efficiency between the population and its environment. It means when two or more gene concentrates are present, natural selection favors increased reproduction of the gene combination which is most suitable under the environmental conditions. Fourth factor that result in origin of new species is genetic drift. Genetic drifts are also known as allele drift or the Sivar-Wright effect. The 
co-reacted mathematical treatment and term genetic drift was coined by a founder of population genetics Sewall Wright in 1929 when he was using it in the sense of directional process of change or natural selection. It occurs due to random fluctuations in gene frequencies due to chance. There are examples of random non-random breeding of small populations which have become reduced in size by disease, famine or isolation. In such populations, the chance plays considerable role in determining the composition of succeeding generations. Theoretically, all the individuals homozygous for new mutation often die, whereas heterozygotes and normal homozygotes thrive well. In a small interbreeding population, heterozygotes gene pairs tend to become homozygous for one allele or other by chance rather by natural selection. This leads to certain disadvantageous characters in homozygous state and the elimination of those organisms processing them. Naturally, the new mutations are gradually eliminated from the population, but chance plays its role and sometimes helps in preserving and maintaining those organisms. Fifth factor is since Darwin's uh, fifth uh, factor is isolation, let's start isolation. Since Darwin's the importance of isolation or segregation of individuals of a species into several populations or group under psyche, psychological or geological factors has been realized and is still being considered one of the most important factors responsible for evolution. Isolation is the segregation of the population by a species into smaller units or sections or segregation of individuals of different species by certain mechanisms so as to prevent interbreeding among their individuals. Thus, isolation helps in splitting of the species into separate groups and thus and their evolution into distinct and a gap among closely related species by preventing interbreeding in the individuals of different populations of a species. So we can say that there are five factors that in the population that result in the origin of new species. Now we can conclude that Darwinism was widely expected on account of its direct approach and practical nature. The staunch supporters of Darwin's theory of natural selection were Wells Huxley, Thomas Henry, August Wisman, and Mendel, etc. Many more were there who supported Darwin's theory. But in 1890, doubts started creeping up about its validity and applicability. In last 25 years, much of the new facts about evolution has been discovered which have re-established the theory of natural selection. In the light of recent researches, the theory has been modified which has been discussed under the heading New Darwinian Concept of Evolution or New Darwinism. If you have any doubts regarding this uh, topic, please comment. And please like, share and subscribe. If you want more such videos, please comment and subscribe. Thank you.